Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on these hair extensions right here. But I show you how to color them from a light ash brown as they were before. As you see, I'm no longer that lighter blonde. I don't even know actually what color it was. It wasn't blonde, it wasn't brown, it was a whole mess of colors. I just went back to my natural roots, which is just dark. Um, obviously, it's not my natural color. It has a lot of red in it. That would be cool though, huh? But it is um, a lot darker. Um, as much as I love blonde hair, I love dark hair just so it's so much easier to blend with the hair extensions. And I'm actually just gonna let my hair glow now. It's bright. It's bright. I keep it at this color, guys. So I did cut these myself. I was just picking up pieces and just slight cutting it down. Because you never wanna just go in there. You wanna definitely. Go everything down since you know they are hair extensions. Um, these are my Bellamy 22 inches, um, no longer 22 inches, comes right here, but it is, it is still pretty long back here. So, yeah, so this is what basically we've got going on for today. Definitely miss having my long hair in. Short hair is nice, just not for all the time, right? <laughs> so I guess so. we're gonna just go ahead and jump right into the video now before I just start talking away. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. And I will have more videos coming out, of course, of um, makeup looks. I need to start doing more hair tutorials, that is for sure. Of course, you could always leave me any requests, anything that you wanna see or me recreate. Um, I'll be definitely more than happy to do it for you. That's why I'm here. <laughs> I hope you guys like it and I hope you guys subscribe. I need you guys to subscribe. Mwah. See you guys soon. All right, so going straight into the color, I'm using the shade 4R. This is by Ion. You could pick this up at your local Sally's. So like I said, initially, yes, I used this 4R, but um, the end result, I actually had to go back and pick up a 3R. It just wasn't dark enough. Um, but I am just showing you the process. Um, I used the exact same steps, so let's just pretend that this is 3R. <laughs> Also, just in case you were wondering, yes, I do have a bowl already there ready. I just had previously just did my cousin's hair, so it was the same color, so I figured let me just add it on to my extensions. The hair extensions that I'm going to be using today are my Bugatti Bellamy hair extensions. This weft here is the, the big one, the volumizing weft. I believe it's like 120 grams. It's amazing how much hair is on this weft. Um, that whole bowl of color there that you see, it's going to go straight into just this one weft. I couldn't believe it. So the first thing that I like to do is put like a nice thick layer on there and then I'm gonna go back in and smush it all around. Okay, so now we're turning it over and we're going to repeat the same process. Okay, so you have to be really generous with the color when doing your hair extensions. You wanna make sure that every strand of hair is coated and well saturated. Um, it will look really off, especially since it's two dramatic different colors as you see at the end. So I definitely wanna make sure that color is well put in there. I do not wanna have to go back in with the whole weft just in case there's missed spots. So just keep that in mind that oh, sometimes more is less, no. Sometimes less is not more. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> so this one here is the three clipped weft. Again, I am well saturating the hair. I'm putting probably more color than necessary, but I just want to make sure everything is nice and even and it looks really nice and rich at the end. Started, started it 
So as you see here, I'm just repeating the same steps for every weft. Just go ahead and give it a good comb through so that all the strands are nice and straight. So all of them, again, just get nicely coated with the product. All right, so we're getting down to the last weft here. So after that, I'm going to probably let it just sit for maybe like 45 minutes to an hour, checking on it, seeing how it is. And I'm just gonna wash it out with um, hot water, maybe put a little bit of coconut oil and conditioner, but not too much. I just wanna basically just run it through the water. I really wanna thank you guys for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I always do. I love making these videos for you guys. As always, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.